The Effects of Social Media Good day to you, dear star seeds, our light workers on planet Earth in this August of 2021. We are very pleased to connect with you. And so August has arrived, and we are still in the thick of the pantomime, and we have come to see the planet Earth situation clearly. We know now that the times we are living in are a great Shakespearean stage play, a movie, the script of which we wrote ourselves. It is an interplay of the devil and the divine. It is a tragedy comedy, illogical, upside down series of events designed for us great souls ensconced in human bodies to experience the fear, the deep, dark, negative emotions, the loneliness and chaos that could not be experienced in our heavenly reality. And so to school us, by the experience of the not preferred, by the living through hatred and chaos and separation and deep, dark fear, and so to school us into greater love and compassion and deeper communion and camaraderie with each other. And all that is happening is meant to be so. As we have often said, nothing wrong ever happened. There are no accidents on planet Earth. What seems like absolute disaster, complete chaos and confusion, is in fact the playing out of events as decreed by the divine itself, as intended by the great I Am, and as designed by ourselves who are a part of that great I Am. And so we know now that all we have ever been taught here on Earth by our controllers was a lie by the design of the dark forces that have not sent to Earth to play the part of the devil. Contrary to all we have been told, our governments are not out to protect us or to look after our best interests. They are, in fact, out to destroy us, to manipulate and manoeuvre us, to coerce us into behaviours that hurt us while meeting their nefarious plan. Our information sources, our mainstream media, are representatives of these dark forces and sell the agenda of our dark controllers, the agenda of the devil. They repeat in heavy tones their lies and disinformation day after day, and so program mankind into believing their story, their false picture of what is happening in our world. They are reversing the truth and telling us that what is good is bad and what is bad is good. Spirituality and reincarnation, we have been told, are not real, whereas they are the truth of our reality. We are divine souls having a human experience, using our biological computer bodies as communication devices to allow us to function in this material world. And as for reincarnation, we have in truth lived many, many lifetimes and played many, many parts in this planet Earth soap opera where the good and the bad vie for our allegiance. Moreover, the religions, according to which we have been taught to create our picture of the world, are simply crowd control measures designed to set faith against faith. For by these teachings we have learned to worship false gods and empty idols rather than behave lovingly and caringly towards each other. Rather than unifying us, religions create murder and mayhem. Those who do not comply with the imposed rules and dogma have been punished both physically and mentally and denigrated and rejected as sinful, wicked and immoral. Our food, our air, our water have been polluted. Our environment has been contaminated to dumb down our bodies and weaken our will that we might be more compliant and subservient and less able to resist the demands of the powers that be. And finally, the science that is so lauded, so praised, so claimed to be absolute in the truth that it provides 
is a travesty of conjecture and misinterpretation and designed to mislead and deceive us. And a large part of this plan is the emergence of computer social media sites. While they were touted as uniting us, as a new and powerful tool for friendship and communication, they have turned out to be a double-edged tool. They have become sources of fear and pain, for they are separation and division devices. They have taken the place of true communion and camaraderie. We, in our holy, heavenly spirit dimension, are all one. As human beings, our divine souls ensconced in our human bodies are still united. Yet our minds and ego are so designed that we can live lives in apparent separation and isolation, be eminently programmable, and so undergo individual experiences. In this third dimensional, low vibrating planet Earth plane, by living through challenging events and choosing between preferred and not preferred responses to these events, we can individuate our talents, our preferences and our abilities. And yet our souls deeply long for the togetherness and unity, the communion and camaraderie of our remembered heavenly existence. We need each other. We long for true, honest and authentic fellowship. Social media, communication by computer, was designed by the powers that be, by our controllers, to keep us apart. When we are together, we feel the warmth of our smiles. We see the light shining in each other's eyes. We feel each other's energy. We lift each other by being mutually in the same space. We hear the tone of our words and feel the love of mixing our auras together. The hugs we give each other, the gentle touch, are essential for our well-being. Babies who are not loved and held and cuddled die from such neglect. When we are together, we have interactive conversations. We can respond to each other in real time and correct misinterpretations. With physical togetherness, we can truly communicate with each other. With social media, that is, interaction by computer typewritten material alone, this very necessary personal interaction is removed and it has been replaced by superficial, inane postings to prove each individual's superiority and prowess of a material kind. And alone and lonely, led by our ego and mind, social media participants look for empty signs of approval they look for the number of followers they have. In their isolation, they allow their mind to dwell on the negative comments they often receive to their postings. And negative emotions, fear and feelings of not being good enough are the result. As the days pass, the sadness, the sorrow, the loneliness increase as they feel rejection and depression and feelings of severe despondency are frequently the result, for the human touch has been removed. It is the desire of our controllers to separate us, and social media has achieved this objective to a great degree. For united in our togetherness, we are very powerful. In separation, we are easy to control, easily programmable into compliance and subservience, fear and apathy. Indeed, social media is a double-edged sword, for there is another aspect to this, and that is that social media has become our alternative media source. It is the place where truthers, those who have awakened to the truth of the planet Earth conspiracy, can post their videos and tell the truth of human history. It is the place where research can be done and the lies of the mainstream media exposed. And it is a great gift that the truth that is exposed is bringing down the powers that be, is uncovering the corruption, is removing the devil from planet Earth. And so, our dear ones, you who have awakened to the truth of the planet Earth reality and your own divinity, you avoid social media, for you do not relate to the superficial communication. 
it provides. But you do appreciate and very much enjoy following the videos of the truthers who do their best to provide honest reporting on the state of affairs on planet Earth. Yet even these reports are losing their attraction as the ascension process drags on day after day after day. Be of good cheer, dear ones. Be of good cheer. All is progressing as it needs to on planet Earth. It must needs do so, for these great times of revelation are decreed by the divine. And as we well know in our hearts, the best is yet to come. Look to yourselves. Concentrate on the good, the lovely, the light that you can feel now shining from your heart. Refine your own nature. This great pause in the planet Earth resurrection is a gift for you and for all of humanity to help them awaken. The outrageous lies, the atrocious, abhorrent behaviour of the Dark Ones has been accentuated to awaken your still sleeping brethren. Yes, be of good cheer, for indeed we know in our heart that the best is yet to come. Love and light, dear friends, love and light, for the best is yet to come as we ascend out of the low vibrating third dimensional paradigm. That was Ita, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings, indeed. <laughs>